I feel so alone. Gonna wind up a big old pile of them bones. This is Kenshin 1913. And we're let's playing Dragon Quest 8. We're still in the Dragon Graveyard. And we're almost done. Yay. So yeah, we gotta go somewhere over here. No, not over there. I is wrong. Alright. Carrie, get out of the way, damn it. Damn you, woman. So let's go over here instead. And, uh, yeah. Oh no, it's the wounded soldier guy. Yeah, they were pretty, they're pretty tough. And Cash, Cash is up ahead. Yeah, well... Yeah, you're never supposed to leave a man behind. Maybe, maybe this, this thing is, uh, is getting, getting out of control, damn it. Yeah, we need to, yeah, you need to, whoever wins needs to be like, Make up with your brother or sister or whatever. Yeah. Alright. Jessica knows about brothers and sisters, alright? Yeah, Angelo, you tell him. And then, yeah, I guess it's just letting us know, yeah, if uh, the dragons came back to life, this would be a big owl time. So, yeah. Uh... Let's go over here, and of course, nearing the end, I had to get in a fight with seven lickers or smackers and uh, two Tyrannosaurus guys. And I tried to fight them, and then I couldn't fight them, and I tried to run, and, uh, and there's what you see happens right there. So let's go in. Yeah. Ooh, look at this place. Uh-oh. Monsters! Uh-oh, cash! Not looking too good. Cash? Whatever, Cash. You made your bed. Um... This is what you get for being a cheater. Now you're a monster food. Are you, are you sure? But if you cry for help, like a little baby, I might have my man give you a hand. What do you say? Uh, I think we should help him. Oh. Uh, he's pretty unconscious <laughs> there. Cash? Are you listening? Quit playing around and answer me before it's too late! Hey, uh, he's not gonna hear you. He's kind of, uh, uh oh. Cash! Look out! What are you gonna do? Uh! Yes, that's what you're gonna do. Get unconscious. Carrie? What are you doing here? What do you think she's doing here? We're fight. We're trying to get that thing or whatever. Alright, now it's our turn to intervene. Yay! Yes. Well, let's look around. Yeah. Ooh, nice things there. Anyways, let's talk to Carrie. Carrie, what do you want us to do? Oh, you're unconscious? Fine, fair enough. It's boss time. Now we're gonna fight, uh... Some... Frickin' monsters. And yeah, uh, basically what I'm gonna do is oomph Kenshin and Yangus with Angelo and Jessica. Angelo learned uh, oomph on with 65 skill points, and uh, Jessica she already knows it. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna psych myself up, to try to get to 100, and then do some massive damage. Now, a couple things you need to worry about with these guys is their high attack, physical attack power. 
and also the red horn he uh, psychs himself up and then they do a team attack which can be real painful and uh, what else yeah and then uh, the blue fang or, yeah the blue fang he can cast multi heal so yeah you don't you don't want to watch out for that and let's see how much kaboom does not bad damage a little over a hundred. There you go, Yangus. Get angry. And there you go, Kinchin. Gotta get pumped for this battle, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, now the Red Horn is psyching himself up. That means that they're going to be doing a team attack eventually. But hopefully we can get our guys up to 100. Yeah, with well, Jessica, I'm going to psych myself up. Let's see how much extra damage she does with her spells. And, uh, come on. 50, there we go. We're at 50, that's good. Alright. Let's hope they can psych up to 100 and get super high tension. And let's use Kabuff. And yeah, let's go to Kabuff here. Oh, it didn't work. There you go. Raise our defense. Come on, Kenshin, psych yourself up. Kaboo! Wow, look at that. An extra hundred an extra hundred damage just for just for psyching yourself up five. If only there was an item that I could use to have everyone get psyched up. Alright, let's see. Kenshin you try it again, but Yangus use Helm Splitter. Jessica, you use Kaboom, uh, Angelo, you can attack. Uh, not too bad, Jessica. Yeah, once one one of the guys is gone, um, you know, the battle's pretty much easy. But Redhorn is the one I'd say get rid of first. Ouch. Yeah, so look, yes. So, oh, come on, Kenshin. Go Super Saiyan for me, what the hell? Yeah, now we gotta, uh, get it, use this, let's see. Um, full heal Yengis. Oh, you don't intimidate us, Mr. Blue Fang. You could go to heck, you can go to heck and die. Look at that. Look at that, 700 damage. And Yangus did about 700 damage too earlier. I just uh, forgot to mention it when he did Helm Flare. It's very nice. Oh no. Yeah, see, so, so they can one shot. Anybody with that attack and and uh, and having him tension like that. So let's try to bring him back to life. Hopefully that'll work. Let's continue to use Helm Splitter and Kaboom. Yep. No. Oh wow. He almost killed tension there. That would have been a bitch. Then no one would have been healed, and that would that would really tick me off. All right, bring him back. Yes. Thank goodness that worked on the first try. Okay, let's use Helm Splitter, Kaboom, and let's multi heal. I want to keep our party members to the tip top. See, look at that. It's not that bad when it's not 
when he's not psyched up. I think I should use Zap or something, but whatever. Uh oh, use Kabuff, who cares? Because, uh, Yangus will get rid of that. Yeah, nice job, Yangus. You crushing their hopes and dreams. With the Helm Splitter. Let's use. Let's just attack. This red horn's gotta be almost dead. Bam. There you go. Alright, now Yangus' attack power is double. I don't know if I cast it on Angelo or not. I don't think so. So let's, uh, let's get this guy. Let's cast Oomf on Angelo, too. He's gotta be almost dead. Let's just go for the killing blow. And then that blue guy won't do crap. Ah, oh, wow. Look at that damage. 200. And that's just with tension of five. So yeah, you gotta watch out for him. But now that he's dead, his friend will go down much faster. Get him, Yangus. Take that big blue guy who's on our who's sort of on our team. Bam 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 bam. Yeah, nice damage. Now, I would psych myself up, but there's no reason for it now. This guy's... This guy's going down. What am I gonna use? Let's use... Kaboom, I guess. Multi-heal. Yes, there we go. And I don't really care about their defense right now, just... Cause damage like a mofo. Ah, oh, yes. Thank goodness for multi-heal. Nice. See, there's his healing, but he didn't get it on his buddy now, did he? <laughs> and Jessica with a, with a, with a uh, staff is awesome if you're using her as a pure magic lady. Because it just keeps healing her. I love it. Yeah, but this guy should be going down pretty soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna have everyone attack and speed us up so that we can attack first. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Alright. Let's just keep, uh... Yeah, he's gotta be almost dead, too. Let's use... There we go. Angelo is making some nice damage. Bam, bam, bam. I like it. Almost 200 damage each time. Yes, there we go. And the blue fang is defeated. Yay, Ken showing up a level. But more levels, meaning better for Monster Arena, too. Alright, four to swords and four to courage. Yay, Jessica went up a level two. Holy moly, look at her HP go up. Alright, let's give a couple of whips, a couple of staves. Yay, she learned Lady's Thong. And a maximum MP plus 100 with. That's amazing, with the staff. Now, I won't be able to fit this whole oh, thing sis. in. How could this happen? But I won't forget your sacrifice, Carrie. Not for as long as I live. Oh no, Carrie's dead. We'll have to find out if she really is in the next episode.